Hi, in today's video I'm going to tell you my favourite professional nail beauty products. This is going to be in no particular order. The first one are these white orange flower toe separators. I don't use them as actual toe separators, I only use them for picture purposes, Instagram purposes. I think it just looks beautiful around the toes and I first saw these by um, Isabel May Nails. I believe her page is called. That's where I first saw them and I was like, click add to basket. They're from AliExpress, very affordable. They've got different styles, but these ones in particular, the white and orange ones, they are honestly the best. I've tried the sunflower ones. They look a bit too, I don't know, not as elegant, should I say. They're still pretty, but I think the white and orange ones just has a really nice, professional look to them. Highly recommend. The next product I'm going to talk about is a nail foil and it gives that broken glass effect. This foil is my favourite foil that I have ever used. I feel like it's very universal, it's very easy to use, you don't have to be very specific, specific with it. There's no TH in specific. <laughs> don't know why my tongue did that. It can be used over any colour and just gives a different look depending on what colour you put it on. It just reflects really nicely in the light. My next favourite is the Magpie Chrome Powder. I think they call it Dust though. In the, the shade Bridey. It gives the glazed donut Hailey Bieber nails effect you know it was popular very 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 popular i think i overused it because you only need a little bit rub it in and boom i used way too much and i've already gone through half of it and of course you can use it over different colors it gives a different look it looks very different when you put it over black it looks different when you put it over a nude over a white yeah if it runs out i will repurchase because i feel like my clients love it and they're just getting it done over and over and over again while we are on the topic of chrome powders there's one that i was really really surprised about and it's one that i got from aliexpress it's a holographic silver chrome powder and it's pressed so it's like an eyeshadow so much more easier and less messy to use it's very pigmented you know you can see the halal in this and it's great and i um the reason I purchased this was because I had a client who was interested in having nude nails but having the ha halal, why do I keep saying it like that? It's because of halal taco. Um, the holographic chrome, almost like an ombre. So it's like a French ombre but with this chrome powder and it looks beautiful. The next one is a palette that I use for mixing colours and it's a metal one in particular. I see a lot of makeup artists use this and um, when I was looking for a new palette, because I had the one that looks like, like one of those marble looking ones, the really pretty ones, but it's actually plastic. But this metal one is a lot easier to clean. I feel like if something was to cure on it, I can just peel it off. It's by a brand called Majestic. I actually found this from when I went to, um, the Olympia Beauty Exhibition. I'm not sure if I'll be able to find a link for this palette, but I'll have a look online and see if I can find it. Okay, my next favourite is the Seiyang K38 e-file. I bought the, the Melody Susie, whatever it was called, I bought that e-file from Amazon and I loved it so much, but it lasted four months and then the wire, for some reason, kept losing connection, so it, it broke, basically. I contacted them and they sent me a new one and I was so happy because I loved that e-file, but the same thing happened again. After exactly like three, four months, the wire lost connection. And I was so upset because that's just, I think it was 70 pound, gone down the drain. So I thought, well, instead of wasting my money on cheaper things that don't last, I might as well just do it. And I did it, I bought the Seiyang K38 e-file. I'm very, very happy with it. Has it been three months since I bought it? It hasn't been, th been three months yet, but obviously this one is a lot more expensive. I'm hoping it will last a lot longer, because if it doesn't, I will cry. 
it feels very good quality no vibrations it's not too loud it's great my next favorite i my expenses have just been a lot recently it's the what's this called oh how do you pronounce this sephros sephros i'm gonna roll with it dust collector this dust collector is pricey just like the last purchase 250 pound i got the one that sits on top of the table because i don't have a table where i can put one where it's fitted in it was very pricey but it is honestly so worth the money it's worth every penny i um bought a cheap one again off amazon it was 30 pound and it didn't collect anything okay i still looked like a snowman it was very unprofessional because i started to do my e-filing like taking color off in the garden at work just outside and in the summer my clients didn't mind but it's very unprofessional and I was still getting covered in dust even though I was outside. I thought, right, I'm at a point where I can, I've saved up a little bit and I can put what I've made from my business into this dust collector and it was so worth it. The dust, just it just sucks it up. It is very, very loud, really don't care. My lungs, my client's lungs and our clothes <laughs> not being covered in dust is a lot more important and um yeah i don't regret buying it at all if you're someone who does acrylics hard gel biab it's an essential for your lungs my next favorite is quite general it's just any um nail art uh water decals from aliexpress i've tried um different like smaller businesses and although i like supporting a smaller business the AliExpress ones are a lot easier to use. They're a lot thinner. I don't know how they've done it, but when I cut around a, a small design, when I go to peel it off, the actual decal is very neatly around that particular design. Whereas other smaller businesses, when I cut around that paper, that decal is on the whole paper. And, um, when it separates from water, it comes out exactly how you've cut it out. I hope you understand what I mean. Yeah, any water decal from AliExpress is my favourite. That's the only place that I'm going to be purchasing my water decals from now on. Um, it does take a long time for it to arrive, but as long as you do it, like if you're going to get Christmas ones, order it early so that they come on time. I made that mistake last year. And also, make sure that you are getting the ones that's behind paper. So not an actual sticker. I like the water decal, not a nail sticker. My next favorite is my um, OPI disposable foot files. When I was doing mobile beauty, I really couldn't be asked anymore to clean my foot file, to put that foot file into a bag, go home and scrub it and this, that I couldn't be asked. So then I started to buy the OPI disposable foot files and I haven't looked back. It makes my life so much more easier. I still use it in the salon even though I'm not mobile anymore. You just use it once, you peel it off, you throw it in the bin, you just need to clean the actual holder, which is really easy. Highly, highly, highly recommend. It is an added expense, but I, I haven't had any clients say anything so far, but I do peel it and put it on right in front of them so they can see it, because I think it might make them feel a little bit more comfortable where it's a new, brand new file that's being used on them and it's being disposed of. I like to get both the 80 grit and the 120 grit. So I use the 80 first, which is the rougher side, and then I smooth it out. I like to use both. My next favorite are the nail art brushes by Glitter Bells. They're just so thick so thin and precise so if you need to do any detailed work or a nail cuff or french really 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 good there's a ones with the blue handles that comes in a pack of three that one i always repurchase if my brushes ever get really old or they get a little bit funny there's one with a pink handle which is a lot longer it's a long fine liner striker brush that one is really really good as well my next favorite is also by glitter bells and anything by glitter bells I first, I didn't know about Glitter Bells until I saw it by Stephanie, can't remember her last name, but I'll put her Instagram down below. She recommended these brushes, bought them. She recommended the Builder Gel 
in the shade Cotton Candy. I bought it straight away. Her nails, her work is so, it's just perfect. It's so good. Purchased it, loved the Builder Gel. I started using it on myself. My clients started to ask me what I had on my nails. So then I bought the Builder Gels into the salon and it has been life changing. Honestly, sometimes gel polish just doesn't last on certain customers of mine. And some people are on this nail growth journey and they want to grow their nails and they can't do it without Builder Gel. It has been life changing. I bought a few more shades and I'm going to show you this clip. The, the first shade is Cotton Candy. It's the most natural shade and it suits everyone and it's really nice under French. The second one is Strawberries and Cream and it's a beautiful nude, like a true nude. looks lovely. And then the last one I show you in the video is called Cover Pink. It's like this dusty rose sort of colour. It's very, very nice. There's a colour that I have here at home that I use on myself called Cookie Cream. That's my personal favourite. It's similar to Cotton Candy where it's a natural sheer pink. But Cookie Cream is just a teeny, it's like a, a little bit more pink. And I love the tone of it. Really, really nice. I've tried um, maybe two other, yeah, about two other brands when it comes to Builder Gel and Glitter Bells has been my favourite. My next favourite are these nail clippers that I got from a store called Pax. Go get these cuticle nippers. They're really good. It's got a gold handle and it's got this um, logo on it. They're really sharp. They're really good. When you're cutting, just use like the tip of it and then work really, really slowly and you get a really nice finish. My favourite cuticle nippers, it was by Born Pretty, it was these rainbow coloured ones that I got from AliExpress. I ordered another pair, but they weren't as sharp and they weren't as good as the first pair I got. And I thought maybe this is just a faulty one. And I ordered another pair and the same thing happened again. So I feel like there wasn't consistency with their nail nippers, which is a shame because they lasted so long, but I don't know if I dropped it or something. I damaged the ones, the sharp ones, the perfect ones that I had. So it was time for me to get a new one. And unfortunately I couldn't get the exact same one. So I went into packs. I got these gold, this gold pair. They also come in silver. It's just this particular style and they're really good. I am happy. And it's not that expensive either. I think it was about six or seven pound. They're my new favourites. My next favourite is the Hona Detail Paint Pot thing, particularly in the shade Black. The Hona one is really, really, really good. Um, the pigmentation is amazing. The consistency is really thin and really easy for me to work with. It works really well with chrome powders. If you're going to do like a cuff design or you're going to do a star, it works really well with that. I also purchased their mirror, their mirrored one. That one is beautiful as well. My next favourite is the OPI Rapid Dry Spray that you use for normal nail polish. My auntie bought me a nail dryer now. So I just use the traditional sort of air, nail dryer that just blows air onto the client's hands. So I now use that. So I don't repurchase the OPI one anymore. But if you don't have a nail dryer, or thinking about it now, it is handy to have, just in case a client is in a rush, I can quickly just spray that on. So thinking about it now, I should repurchase it. But I've tried two other brands and they didn't work as well as the OPI one, so it's my personal favourite. And then my last favourite, I forgot to film it, um, and I don't have it with me, it's at work. They are, I'll link it in the description box below, I'll put a picture of it if I can find it. They are these circle things that you stick onto your gel polishes so that you can see what color they are so some gel polish bottles the color is on top and they can you can easily find it but some of them aren't but you paint the color onto this plastic thing onto the circle while it's still attached to the base cure it put a top coat over it cure it a no wipe top coat would be ideal and then you pick it off the base peel the sticker off the back and then you stick it onto the gel polish colour and then it's just when you open your drawer to look at your colours 
is so much easier to find what colour you're looking for. They have been really, really useful for me and I had to put it in my favourites video. So those are all of my top, top favourite nail products. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Comment down below what your professional nail beauty products are. Thanks for watching. Bye.